Hand in hand with running a profitable business was ensuring the welfare of their workers. Influenced by the Scottish social reformer Robert Owen, whose own mill at New Lanark was run on the principle that bettering the lives of factory workers would give good productivity, the Herdmans followed suit here in Sion Mills. They built a school in 1845 and paid for staffing. In line with their non-sectarian principles, the Sion Mill schools provided an education for all, regardless of religious faith. It later became the first integrated state school in the country. Both the school and the mill remained integrated even during the Northern Ireland Troubles which divided so many other communities. Existing housing was improved and by 1900, 240 new mill cottages had been built. Rent was always well below market rates. Fair too were the prices for goods in the village shop they set up. In 1839, a gas works was installed and within a short time, both the mill and the village were fully lit. 50 years later, they did the same with electricity, making Sion Mills one of the first villages in Ireland to be electrified. <laughs>